Lord, I say, the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise them up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? back community that allowed our people to be destroyed. And it's the doctrine that the Christian church continue to pass around. It's the doctrine that Christ has destroyed the law. Right? And we're going to bring it out. I'm just going to so can I get Matthew 5 and 17? The book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 17. Think not that I come to destroy the law. The first thing that he says is think not. That means whatever he's about to say after that, do not think that. Right? All the prophets, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Christ said he did not come to destroy. Well, we got our Christian pastors teaching out here that he destroyed the law when he came. But this Christ words right here is written in red, right? Hold on, what kind, sir? It's written in red. That's Christ words. Right? He did not come to destroy the law. So now we got people out here living in the lifestyle that's, that's against the law, right? You got brothers and sisters out here stealing from each other. You got brothers and sisters out here believing, using their imagination to decide that they want to be something that they're not. You feel me? Continue reading. Verse 18. For verily I say unto you. That means he wants you to listen real closely. Till heaven and earth pass. Look around. The earth's still here, right? The heavens ain't passed. Continue. One jot or one tittle. A jot and a tittle is the smallest thing. The smallest looks like an eye on the, uh, on the alphabet. When you, got, when you write your eye and you put that dot, that's what that is. Shall in no wise pass from the law. I mean, it shouldn't pass from the law. So something as small as that does not pass from the law. So now you got to ask your Christian pastors, right? Why do they say that the law is done away with? Because these Christ words, he said nothing is small since the heaven and the earth has passed, right? Continue reading. Till all be fulfilled. Till all be fulfilled, right? Continue. Verse 19. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. So you know your Christian pastor telling you you can eat pork, right? Telling you you can be effeminate in these churches, right? Telling you it's okay, right? God loves everybody, right? He, Christ said he who breaks the least of these commandments, right? Continue. And shall teach men so. And shall teach men so. So they teaching y'all to do this, right? Continue. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. He should be called the least. The Christian pastors are out here teaching y'all to become the least, right? The least in the kingdom of heaven. That's what he's teaching y'all, right? We got to wake up Israel and stop following behind these false prophets, right? Stop following behind that because all they're doing is robbing you. They are teaching you to become the least in the kingdom. So, right. See, that's the thing. They want you to become the least, right? Today, we got brothers and sisters going on a march, right? They marching, you feel me, in the alphabet community. That's what they doing in D.C. today. They're going to march around for real. Men out here deciding that they want to be women, and women deciding that they want to be men, right? And they started, they starting now to attack our children. You feel me? They got a school, right? They, they, they don't even tell the parents that they teaching these, this alternate lifestyle. They will have your son and your daughter inside these schools, right? They will have them inside these schools participating in these alternate lifestyles and they tell the students that they are not supposed to tell you. Tell your parents. Come to school, right? And learn this alternate lifestyle. The book of Matthew chapter 19 and verse 17. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? All right, so Christ literally tell, telling somebody, why you call me good? Continue. There is none good but one. Christ said there is none good but one, right? Continue. That is God. That's the most high. Right then. 
right? They like to teach that, you know, Christ is the most high, right? But this Christ words right here, he's saying that there's no one good except the most high. Continue reading. But if thou wilt enter into life. But that's, that, that's that life these Christian pastors like to talk about, you know, their eternal life. Christ saying if you want to enter into life, right? Continue. Keep the commandments. I thought the law was done away with. That's what they told us, right? The law is done away with. So, continue. Hold on, hold on. Slide. Read that again for me. The book of Matthew. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. See, the Christian, the Christian pastors, they don't want you to enter into life, right? They don't want you to do that. All they want to do is continue to take your money, man. All they want to do is take, point you to a lifestyle that's destructive of yourselves, that's destructive of our people. They walking around here telling you you can do these things, but Christ out of his own word said, if you want to have life, right, you got to keep the commandments. So how are they going around telling you not to keep these commandments? Right? This is the New Testament. They like to say that Israelites only read Old Testament. This Christ words, right? Christians, they tell us Christian, Christianity stands for followers of Christ. This is what he said out of his mouth. How you go against what Christ said out of his mouth? But that's what they do, right? And you got to call them. You got to talk to them. You got to let them know. That they going against Christ. Let me get First John. Salat yes, sir. Let me get First John chapter two, verse three and five. It's like this is the Israelite school of universal practical knowledge. We bringing our knowledge here today, right? Y'all been bamboozled and fooled by these Christian churches, and y'all need to go back to them and let them know that they, everything they telling you is a lie. Stop following behind the lie. Wake up. First John two and three. This right here, you know, a lot of people, you go on a Christian church, you know these, these pastors, a lot of people in your family say, oh, we know Christ. We know Christ. I have a personal relationship with Christ. That's what they say, right? But we're going to go to the Bible and say what they say about that. It's a lot of the book of first john chapter 2 and verse 3 and hereby we do know that we know him so you know when they always tell you they got a personal relationship with christ christ is their husband right it says right here that we do know that we know him so if they don't do what this scripture is about to say you feel me they don't know continue reading if we keep his commandments if we keep his commandments that's how we know we know him but they teach me not to keep his commandments. So everybody in your family, you know, who say they got that personal relationship with Christ. Everybody in these churches that say, you know, Christ told them this and Christ told them that. They don't keep the commandments. They don't have no personal relationship with God. We, we get in the scriptures. So like, continue reading. The book of First John, chapter 2 and verse 4. He that saith, I know him. See, this one right here, this... This is going to destroy everybody in your family who go to Christian church, right? This is going to destroy that, that your, your grandmother who's the, the prayer warrior in your family right here, right? Because they all say they know Christ. But continue reading. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments. And keepeth not his commandments. They ain't they even poor. Right? They don't know Christ. They not keeping the Sabbath. Right? They out here sleeping with each other wives. Right? They don't keep the commandments, right? But they teaching you that. Continue reading. Is a liar. They a liar. And you need to understand that. You going to church every Sunday, right? And you falling behind a liar. You need to stop being comfortable with that. Your lifestyle is a lie. Your pastor is a liar. Your grandmother who teach you, teach you, who raised you, telling you to go to this church every Sunday, they a lie. Bible study, it's a lie. You feel me? Choir rehearsal, all that, that's a lie. They not teaching what God wants. Right. They not teaching you how to live a life, perfect life. They teaching you that you don't have to be perfect. Slide, continue. The book of 1 John chapter 2 and verse 4. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. Remember that, they are liar. Let me get Romans 6 and 1. You feel me? That's this one thing, like they say all, what the Christians say, they say um, we all fall short of the glory of God, right? You feel me? We all sin, right? 
It's like they have no consequences because you don't follow the law. There's no consequence to your sin, to your actions, right? It's okay. You feel me? We all did it, right? Right? But we don't go to what these scriptures say. Because they like, you know what? We all got grace. You know, grace, all grace is, is a grace period. You know, when you, you late on your phone bill and you call them, ask them, all right, I'll pay you next week. You feel me? They allow you to have that next week. You got to come up with that or your phone is getting cut off. We need to understand that grace is the same thing for your life. Right? You got to get it right before that bill is due. Still out with us. Because they love to teach that doctrine of grace. I mean, it is what it is, right? That's what they tell you. The book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? Well, that's a question, right? What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? I mean, that's what we was all taught, right? I mean, we all fall short. We, what is it? We all fall short, right? Right? They allow you, they keep teaching you that you should be able to sin. It's okay if you sin, you feel me? It's a new day. You know what I mean? Tomorrow, come in here, right? They teach you not to be perfect, right? Continue. Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? That's that grace part right there. They love to preach that grace. You feel me? Amazing grace. They love that, right? You feel me? But they don't understand the true meaning of grace. It's a time period. You have to get right before that time period, right? That's what you have to do. Come on, continue. Verse 2. God forbid. God forbid that. So why are they teaching this doctrine? That's going against the most high. He forbid that. That means don't do it. Don't teach it. You got to understand, like, a lot of our Christian pastors and a lot of our people we, we go out here and listen to, they don't know the Bible. They run around here rhetoric. You got to question them. You got to talk to them. You got to tell them that they live in a lie. And get, get a flyer and come over here, right? Because this is the truth. This is the home of the truth. You feel me? There's only one way that you love the most high. That's what we're going to teach y'all. Because everybody say, oh, I sing, right? I get my tithes, right? That's how I show I love the most high. Now, we're going to show you. You feel me? Everybody talking about they had their own personal relationship with Christ. We're going to go to this Bible and teach you what is the love of the most high. If you're not doing this, you don't have no love for the most high. And that's what we're about to show you. We're going to show you what love is. Real the love. book of First John, chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God. This is the love of God right here. You feel me? We always talk about a lot of people out here talking about they love God. You feel me? I can celebrate God my own way. You know, I got my own way. I live. The own way. This is the own. This is how I serve God. They everybody got their own definition, their own, their own way, their own belief of how to serve God, right? Their own love for God. But this is what God says. This is what He says. For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments. That we keep His commandments. As simple as that. Keep his commandments. That's why they love to teach you not to keep his commandments. You feel me? Because they love to teach you to live the life that is going to take you astray from your culture, your destruction. We continue to follow around from these oppressors, right? In the way that they teach us. But we got to come back to our culture.